you have a marinade that includes a most unusual ingredient that most of us love when we were younger, but probably would never think to use in a marinade. What is it? Drew, it's root beer. Hello. Listen, if you can have beer canned chicken, why not root beer steak? Are you ready to find your inner butcher, babe? Yes, and I just took a sip of the root beer. All right, take me through this. Teach me the marinade. All right, this is so simple. All you need is some soy sauce right in a bowl. Delicious. We've got two tablespoons in here. Got it. And we've got two tablespoons of mustard. You can use any dang time you like. All mustard's good to me. All right, next, smoked paprika. Gotta get the smoked one because it tastes like the grill. It tastes like summertime. And how, right much, in the mirror. And how much of this? Two tablespoons. To your health, apple cider vinegar. I love apple cider vinegar. It really gives a bright acidity and it's really gonna aid in the marination for this recipe. And actually, I call them blessipes because this recipe can bless your life. It's a blessipe, Drew. Oh, I love a blessipe, L'Oreal. And we've got the crushed garlic, too. That's going to go right in the marinade. All right. Last but not least, it's root beer time. How much? Let's add a can. All and right. And our average, that would be about 12 ounces. All right. Look. So now we got skirt steak. You can use flank. Then we slice whatever. So we're just gonna drop those right into the marinade. L'Oreal, let me ask you a question. Like, I prefer like a skirt or a flank over a filet mignon, but what is the price difference? Am I, am I like, is that a lucky preference, financially speaking? Um. Drew, that is really a lucky preference. Flank and skirt are usually around $13.99 a pound. But if you're talking about filet mignon, especially if it's been dry aged, it's definitely gonna be upwards to $40 to $60 a pound. And that's not even thinking about if you were in a steakhouse. Ooh. So yeah, you're in luck there. This is definitely an affordable cut. That's really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love the skewered part of this, especially because you can like walk around with a meat stick. Like it's fun, you know what I mean? Can Do you I sear them up? I wanna and sizzle. I want to hear it. Can I let's do, do it? it? Yes, let's do it. Okay, so you got your cast iron. It sounds like it's nice and hot, which is exactly what we want. There's a little bit of smoky mist coming off of here. We're just going to add a touch of oil. Not too much. Maybe about a tablespoon. And then what you want to do is you want to hear that iconic sizzle. Look at these beautiful spears. Let's just set those down. And L'Oreal, oh, yeah. how much on each side? Because that's always like... Two minute rule. Two minute rule. I love that. What I really love about the root beer in this recipe is that you get the sugary caramelization on there. All right. Look at those, those look so good. Well, uh, thank you. Um, I'm really excited. Do you mind if I cheat and like taste one that's already been cooked? Because I can't take it. No, I want to too. Cheers. Cheers, L'Oreal. Cheers, girl. Oh, my God. Oh, Is my. You don't need a fork. Oh, my oh, gosh. you're driving your minivan down the road with your kids eating this. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and it's been two minutes. I'm ready to turn. Yeah, let's flip it and reverse it. Dang, 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 I'm sorry, my butt has a mind of its own right now. I'm just, you know, eating meat off a stick and twerking, so that's good. I, I can honestly say this is one of the greatest recipes. This is, this is a life changer. This is incredible. Whoa. Oh my God. It's, um. Thank you. I really want to comment on it. Would you call it a blessedpiece? I would call it a blessedpiece. It's so, um, the thing that I really love about this is how absolutely tender the meat is. And right. yet, it has this delicious sort of caramelization and a little bit of that grill on it that I just associate with red meat. I, I like yes. a little bit of a sear and a char, but the meat inside is like butter. It's just delicious. The texture is perfection. 
but the flavoring is so good and so unique. And I'm guessing it must be that root beer because it totally you, doesn't taste like anything else. And yet it's fully addictive. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I like, I'm in like aromatherapy realm over here. Well, I thank you so much because I am definitely, um, I'm going to make this with my kids and, and, and this Fantastic. is, this is going to be so fun. It's so delicious. This feels like it would please everybody. By the way, this is a phenomenal Super Bowl snack recipe. I've got to say, and right. thank you, L'Oreal. Thank you, Drew. Okay. Excellent. Well, go to our website for the full recipe. Anything I may have missed. Um, L'Oreal is going to give you all the important tricks and tips. So just go to the DrewBarrymoreShow.com and get your skewer on. And thank you, L'Oreal. You really are a big.